Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Kendrick Souls of Brooklyn in Sarasota. So, hope you come along with me today. We're gonna go, Carrie and I, to Cheesecake Factory. And uh, hey, how you doing? Someone followed a photo bombing. So come along, we're gonna show you one of the best chicken parmesan sandwiches in all of Sarasota. And uh, stay along, we'll show you a little bit of the mall. So Cheesecake is right here in the main sector of the mall. You go and you, there's valet parking at this mall. We don't usually do valet. We usually park near Macy's, so we walk up the mall. But this is one of the more beautiful cheesecake factories we're going to show you as we walk in. So uh, enjoy. What I always find amazing about Cheesecake Factory, it literally has, I think, the biggest menu in the world. I mean, this is just, if you've never been here, look at how comprehensive this menu is. I mean, I'm just going to take a step back. They have everything and anything. Portions are tremendous. Cheesecakes, I don't usually get because I can't even eat them. It's too full. And, uh... I just get like chicken parmesan sandwich or something, but as you can see, there's your hours there, 11 to 11, pretty much daily, 10 on Sundays, right in the main part of the mall. And let's oh, really beautiful. Give you a little walk through here. Pretty full for a Saturday, too. Oh. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to show you some cheesecakes here. These are to die for. Oh, my God. If you on a diet, this is not the place to go to. Look at this. Ultimate red velvet cake. Look at the calorie intake here. 1,580 calories per slice. Godiva chocolate cheesecake. 1,400 calories a slice. Hey, Celebration Cheesecake. Big shout out to everyone back in Central Florida and Celebration where we lived for seven years. Wonderful times. Look at all these, wow. Chocolate truffle tower cake. Adam's peanut butter, toasted marshmallow. Chocolate mousse. Wow, look at this. Carrot cake, 1,720 calories a slice. Wow. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of Pac-Man. So we got Kerry online here. All excited to eat. Wow. Full house here today. For sure. About one minute, two minutes, you will get to see it. One or two minutes. That's right up Kelly. Kerry Saheli. Look at this, this is their newest cheesecake, Triple Berry Bliss Cheesecake. Wow, look at that. Creamy cheesecake layered with vanilla cake, three kinds of berries, and a kiss of citrus. Party of two, here we go. Look at the size of this kitchen, that's why I wanted to show you this. It is immense. Look at that, because all the way down, You can see the size of how big this is here, the kitchen. I was telling you about the menu. They have a menu here called Skinny Licious too, along with the standard. This is, look at this, this is a book. That's the menu, unbelievable. So if you've never been here, I mean, this is everything you could imagine, even down to things like hot pie and tacos and burritos. This, it's almost impossible to find some food that you can think of that they don't have. And um, just really incredible. So we're gonna show you what we get. Last time Kerry got the pizza, I like. I really like the chicken parmesan sandwich. So I'm gonna show you that I got that. Uh, probably get French fries on the side of that. One. And they even do a Saturday and Sunday brunch, which is totally amazing. So again, if you've never been, I'd highly recommend it. Or if you're in the Sarasota area, and of course, if you've been to a Cheesecake Factory, wonderful place to come. Um, you can see how busy it is here. And like I said, I can't wait to show you the sandwich that I got. So I'm going to show you something on their menu right now. A lot of folks out there eat gluten-free. So all throughout their menu, you'll see right here, let's see if we can zoom in on it. Anytime you see gluten, like in this case of bacon cheeseburger, that could be made gluten-free. And practically everything on the menu, which you go through it, there's quite a few things, whether it's salads or anything. A lot of folks out there are either have celiac or eat gluten-free. In fact, our, our server right now just tell me she has celiac and it reminded me that I should include that in the video. So, um, 
Yeah, so it's a great place to come. Like I said, bring the whole family because everybody will find something to have here. It's just a wonderful place. And of course, why is it a wonderful place? What would an owl video be without that one? It's a Coca-Cola place. Gotta love it. So here we go, the starter, Kerry's happy. We got the uh, traditional cheesecake bread, which you can buy in supermarkets, but it's really, really good. Uh, that, and you got a big hunk of butter right there. Big shout out to my son, Matt Waffles. He loved coming to Cheesecake Factory, loved, loved the butter in particular. Matt was a butter person for sure. So yeah, that's our starter. Wow, here it goes. Uh, that's over there. Look at that, look at Carrie's selection there. Cheese, oh my god, this sandwich. looks amazing. Can we just get forks? Yes, you can. Would yeah. you like to say hi for our video? Hi. How you doing? Look at that. That's on French bread. Nice uh, shoestring fries. And look at what Carrie got. What do you call that again? Chicken Romano. Chicken Romano with some pasta bazoo. Mm -hmm. See the first. Right Thank there. you very much. You're welcome. We appreciate you. Enjoy. Anything else you need? You want no, we're cheese? good. We're good. No, we're good. Okay. What do you think? Good. Want to try it? Yeah, a little while. How's the chicken? Tender? To me, it's only. The only thing for me, it looks a little dry. It needs some sauce, I think. Although Carrie really not supposed to eat too much sauce, but she's struggling with that knife. All right, now let me try mine. Let me dig into this here now. Look at that. Amazing. I mean, look at this right here. I mean, as a New Yorker, as a Brooklynite, I mean, this is really on a level of a Brooklyn sandwich. It's extra hot, crispy. The bread is not New York bread, but it's very, very good, very, very close. It's just amazing. And uh, chicken parmesan is cooked, but it's not uh, it's overcooked. Really, really good. It's got some sauce on it. It's nice and juicy. Really like it a lot. Um, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. So Carrie was saying it's not as good as an Italian restaurant, her portion. Um, I think for me the sandwich is really, really good. So I mean it's pretty hard to beat an Italian restaurant, especially like a pasta and chicken and meatballs and things like that. But I think here, uh, one recommendation I would have if you come here would be if you want to order, say, the chicken parmesan sandwich. Most people love desserts. The portions are really big. So I would say you could share one dish and then have save room for dessert. That'd probably be the best way to go. I mean, I'm not too big on desserts. So for me, I really don't do that. But for most people, they want to try the dessert here because they're spectacular. So that would be my recommendation when you come to Cheesecake Factory. So I don't know, a funny thing just happened. Maybe I'm getting to be a famous YouTuber or something. Um, somebody just walked by, uh, a teenager, maybe about 20, well, I'd say 20, 21. Uh, yeah, probably about 21. And she says, uh, like waves, and says, could I have a fry? And I'm like, okay. So she's sitting down there and actually took one of my fries. So I guess it looks like I don't have any kind of disease or nothing like that, which I don't, but kind of surprising. So yeah, I'm here if anybody wants to eat some fries. It's, it's pretty awesome. So Carrie just tried mine. Which one do you like better, yours or mine? She always likes mine better, always. That's like tradition. No matter what I say, whatever, she'll get something different. And she always likes mine better. So one negative I'll have to say, they put way too much ice in the drink. So I'm gonna get, when I get my Coke refill, I'm gonna get no ice. That's way too much ice. Like I said in one restaurant, I don't mind if you ice up the Coke, but don't Coke up the ice. This is a lot of ice for Coke. All right, so check this out. Now I'm super happy. Look at the difference there. I mean, I'm not a wine drinker, but I can tell you that's a good day in Atlanta with that Coca-Cola, but yeah, it's just way too much ice. You can see the difference in the color. It's too watered down. And the area always laughs because I'm really not that particular with the food that I eat, but the soda has to be like, as we say in Brooklyn, has to be mint. 
So, you know, you, I don't know, I want to taste it, but anyway, got my Coke, you know, Coca-Cola always. Yeah, so two observations that I'm making and looking at the, the dishes that are going by is that when you come here, if you like sauce, I would say order extra sauce on the side. They seem to like not give a lot of the like the uh, sauce content and like it seems like, again, with the, with the soda and the ice, there was a lot of that. But from what I'm looking at, uh, anything, if you kind of like that, I would say just tell them extra on the sauce or whatever, because um, I, know I always like sauce and you have bread, you want to dip it in. Maybe it's a New York thing, but I just think that's a little added feature. But you can always rectify that once uh, you get the food. But again, always good to put it on the side just to make sure. So this was a really great meal and uh, look at this. Uh, See, we're gonna take home all the rest. We couldn't eat it all, that's how much it was. And uh, we had a great time. And as you know, uh, if you ever see me in a restaurant doing a review, I'm willing to share food. This is a first. So, uh, hey, maybe it's the start of a trend, you know? Let's, uh, who knows? So, thanks for joining us on Kindred Souls of Brooklyn and Sarasota. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself, bye-bye.